Good morning, everyone. It's Francis. We're planning today's adventures. Uh, some of that includes Cosmic Obsession. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, Cosmic Obsession is going to do a live broadcast this evening and or early tomorrow morning capturing some of the sights occurring before sunrise on Saturday July 21st I want to tell you that if you're watching this video you should know that Cosmic Obsession Observatory broadcasts a live telescope feed on the Night Skies Network that's the night skies network.com if you go to night skies network.com you can get a free uh, username and log in you have to register to log in but once you get that free username <coughs> and log in for free you have access to a long list of live telescope feeds on the night skies network one of the live telescope feeds on the Night Skies Network is Cosmic Obsession Observatory. I'm going to go through the timing a little bit of what may occur tonight and early tomorrow morning over on the Night Skies Network, but you can come to CosmicObsession.com over here. CosmicObsession.com and find out what the featured video is. A little bit about us, what telescopes there are available here at the observatory, some blogging going on, and the links. Contact. There's a contact page down there. Of course, there is Mars, Venus, photos and videos, and a contact us. You can even see the globe. You can even see our clear sky chart. What's our sky going to be like tonight and into tomorrow morning? those dark blues mean very good if you click on here you will get a better explanation of this chart but this chart is real time what the skies are like over the observatory here 34 miles northwest of Houston Texas our visitors that's Leonid Lenin there Leonid Lenin's visit from the center of Russia <laughs> we uh, look forward to connecting with you there <clears throat> but for this this broadcast this uh, announcement this morning I'm going to tell you what's been going on let's get back to what's going on tonight and tomorrow we're here with Stellarium Stellarium is a free program that you can get if you search for Stellarium and download Stellarium you can get the same uh, software that I use on my home computer here the one that you're looking at I can tell you that I'm only so good with these software programs. I've only always, you know, I've never been an expert at any of them, but I do use them and I have a, uh, an ability to use them to check on where objects are and see things, but I'm not as great as someone who in, imports information into their software program there. Starry Nights Pro or their Stellarium, you know, my friend uh, T-Bar, 1984 is got his uh, system top-notch my system's not like that so I use it very basically so bear with me please right now uh, here's Neptune <clears throat> you see it up here Neptune I'm gonna go into the time because I want to see when Neptune rises tonight right now it's 720 and we're just gonna go that's 833 a.m. it's exactly and we're here Earth Houston 32 feet above uh, sea level. <laughs> 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 a.m., 11, 12, 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's rising in the east. 10, 10 p.m., Neptune rises. 11, 12, or 12. 1 a.m. tomorrow, 2 a.m. tomorrow, 3 a.m. tomorrow, 4 a.m. tomorrow, 
<clears throat> now I want to see where we're located. 4 a.m. tomorrow. That's to the south. It's almost at zenith for us at the south. But let's see what's over here. Uh, east. Here we are. 4 a.m. Jupiter, Venus, Pleiades. That starts to rise. 2 a.m. is not there. 3, 30, 4, 30, 4, 30, 5, 34, 4, 34, 5, 34, 5, 34, 5, 34, south, there's Neptune still. Okay, I'm going to get with Bob, but I wouldn't doubt that we're going to be up very early tomorrow morning, 4 a.m., going to do some broadcasting on the nice guys network uh, of the skies saturday morning then you may get a broadcast saturday night too so you may get two broadcasts you should pay attention uh to that i want I, i'm interested in seeing what we can see of neptune bob was mentioning that this was rising and all that is rising that's going to be a great shot Tomorrow morning, 5.35 a.m., June 21st, Central Daylight Time here over uh, Cosmic Obsession Observatory. I can take some still shots with uh, Debbie's uh, Nikon, three, uh, Nikon, and a very cool setup lining up for tomorrow morning. And then we can pan over here and get the Cosmic Obsession view of Neptune. I bet everyone's interested in the Cosmic Obsession view of Neptune. And let's center... And zoom in. And as you closer, there comes Triton. There's Triton. That's what we've been seeing. And let's see. Let's speed up the day. Let's look at Triton. Oh, where did it go? See, sometimes that happens to me. I don't know what's going on with that. Let's go back to the seven. Do, do. That's because I'm not using it well enough. Let's see if we can. There it is. There it is. Can we move? Yes. I don't know why that's doing that. I don't know why that's doing that. Let's see it. I don't know why it does that. Anyways, I want to see what it looks like with the Cosmic Obsession. We're going to be using the Celestron 11 inch. Um, I'd be happy to get something like this to be able to see something like that. That would be that'd be good enough for me. Uh, I want to see if we can see some color with the mounting cam uh, and and so on and, and so it's going to be early morning maybe I'll get over there 4 a.m. going to wake up 3 30 a.m. tomorrow morning to get to the observatory at 4 a.m. to get ready for a live broadcast on the nice guys network of all that stuff going on uh, Jupiter Venus and Neptune will be set up for planetary viewing uh, maybe I get the camera out. We'll do some exposures with Debbie's camera. Uh, pay attention uh, for that, and then I'll be I'll be doing my best to create videos and screen captures of the event so that you can watch it later. So if you miss it, if you miss the live part of the whole practice for me is to record of as much of everything as I can so you know if that's going on and if we actually do that, then I'll be recording something and you'll get a chance to see it tomorrow. Tomorrow, so. Let's move on. Let's move on to Sedna. Where did my cursor go? Here's Sedna. I'm using a Subaru Image Processor, Mac Eye. That's free too. Everything I use is free. <laughs> and it's true. I mean, right now on this computer, I get a messed up version of GIMP Photo Processor because you can't uninstall GIMP. 
right now I use Macalai I image processor because it's free right now I use nova.astrometry.net for them to do have my astrometry for me for free I use the DS9 software to do the astrometry because it's free I probably should have had the software up here with this video I don't know if I could have did the astrometry in, in time or not uh, <clears throat> But anyways, this right here is the image where Sednus should be. And Sednus should be in the center. I <laughs> I believe this line right here shows the plane, the ecliptic. In fact, I'm positive. I know that shows the ecliptic, so I'll, that's what I've learned. So uh, that's a marker on the image. You go in close. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, somebody tell me so I can stop thinking that. Okay, please. But it's not an object. That's a that's a marker. That's my belief. And now, uh, Sedna should be in the center of the image. As we get to the center of the image, we kind of don't have anything dead in the center of the image. So we may just not be able to see it, uh, or maybe one of these objects is Sedna. Because when we, you know, I'm going to go in as far as I can go, and then we're going to have this object is the closest one to center. And. I really don't see anything else, but I could be, and listen, we're going to find out with this image that, I mean, that could be Sedna right there. I mean, but it's probably not. I mean, I doubt, but, but I have no idea. And if you have no idea, then you and I both have no idea together, and that's okay. Now we can see a lot of space. You see where we're zooming out. There's the whole photo. I'm going to zoom into the center. And we kind of lose something right from the center. We have some of these objects. Like that that might not be a, that could be a galaxy. And some of these fuzzies are interesting objects. But we have astrometry.net. I did the astrometry and we have the KMZ Google. And here's something else. Let me tell you. My you I, the only thing I use astrometry.net for is to put it in the DS9 software um, and uh, I should be able to download that <coughs> anyways I still have more work to do <coughs> now I downloaded it let's see you're, you're gonna be bouncing around with me Something weird is happening. Okay. Okay, darn it. Okay, doc, doc. Image.kmz. 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 doing wrong oh that might have that's I probably hit the wrong one I need this new fits image new image fits new image one fits new image one fits I'm gonna run out of time Okay. And then, well, what I'm and you can see right here, I'm able to point out the coordinates. Look up here, and 
I'm able to point on this picture where the coordinates are. And I and I have to actually <clears throat> I'm gonna confirm that my coordinates are pointing where Sedna should be, and that's what I'm doing right now. Y'all have a great day. Look for the cosmic